All right. Hello, today is Saturday, August 26th, 2017. And I will be channeling Yogananda in a minute. Today we'll start with a meditation. Breathe deeply. Place your palms on your heart. Breathe deeply and consciously. Focus, concentrate on your breath. Oh, smile, smile, smile. Oh, Oh, Sit comfortably, relax. Oh, Feel, feel your body, feel your hands, your palms, their fingers. Feel the texture of your clothes, of your skin, feel your body. Be grateful for the gift of this body, of this life of this illusion of life of this illusion of earth of this illusion of the universe Allah, Allah. say out loud thank you thank you thank you oh, Um, uh, today, about the acceptance. I invite you to accept the gift of life. Yes, it is an illusion. Yes, you are the eternal spirit. You are an eternal spirit. But yet, you are here, in this body, in this illusion, in this dream, right now, right here. I invite you, come back to this body. Come back to this time, right now, right here. Feel the body. Feel the illusion of time. As space is an illusion, so as time an illusion. And both time and space, space and time, make up this illusion. They construct this illusion. This is a gift for you, for learning and serving. For learning and serving. As a soul, you got the gift of space-time, time-space for learning and serving. And this gift is very valuable because the choices you make are sharper in space and time, are sharper. They are easier. You're forced 
to make choices in this space and time. What time is now? <laughs> what day is now? What year is now? What body is now? It is like renting a rental car. Your body is your rental car. Be grateful for this car. It's like a rental apartment. Be grateful and respectful to your body, to this universe, to the illusion of this universe, for the experience, for the opportunity to learn and to serve. <laughs> The shift is coming, the shift is here, the wave is coming, the wave is here. Interesting times are starting. Interesting time already here. How to deal with them, how to perceive them, what to do, how to express yourself. To answer that, I invite you to be grateful and respectful to this illusion of body and space and time, to this illusion of the universe. It's all an illusion, but it's given to you for learning and serving. So respect it, love it, love it. Love your body, respect your body. Be with it, take care of it. Start with it. Collect your affairs together. Collect yourself together in this body. <clears throat> and discover yourself. Every moment, every moment of the illusionary time, discover yourself. It's always new. Every moment it is new by looking yourself and discovering yourself, by contemplating. You can understand the gift of the illusion of body and the gift of the guidance of your higher self. The gift of the guidance of your spirit guides, of your spirit friends of the universe, of the divine force, of the divine essence, of the divine, divine wisdom. Just by looking at the body, by being in the body, by focusing on here, in this moment, looking at yourself, by discovering yourself. Accept where you are now. Accept the universe where you are now. Accept the events around and realize it's all a grand illusion given to you for learning and serving. It's all drama played for you. A drama, a play, a divine play. Don't be afraid. Accept the fear. Respect the fear. Play with the fear, but don't be the fear. You are beyond and above the fear. The fear is another gift for you. As time and space, the fear is something external. Don't let it take charge of yourself. It's a gift so you can experience learn and serve be cautious yes be practical be cautious and practical cautious and practical so respect the fear 
it gives you messages. Respect them. Be cautious. Understand them. But don't let the fear dominate you. You are here to be the change, to carry the change, to ground the change. <clears throat> to ground the change. It is a complex, complex, complex collective work. The ascension it is a complex collective work. It's a network. You, the light workers, make a network. Ground yourself in the reality and uplift it. Explode it from inside. Explode it from inside. You understand? So that's why you need to be in the reality to explode it. Come back, ground into the reality, into this illusionary reality on the earth, in the time space continuum. Be there in the body, play there. Bring your soul down so the soul plays in the body, in the space, in the time, in the reality. Be strong, be harmonious, harmonize, harmonize, uplift, collect your affairs together, play well, and be that change. Don't worry, respect whatever happens. Love and respect, whatever happens. Be there. Accept it and transform and uplift it from inside, from within the play, from within the game. Play your role and carry the sparkle of God force within you. So I invite you to be in your body and play in the reality, full force. Ground your spirit in the body and be with the spirit all the time, playing for real. If you have to, you may step aside, may meditate, of course. You may assemble your force, assemble your spiritual energies together. But then I invite you to come back to the body and fully engage in life. Respect people. It is hard. Respect people. Respect their errors. Respect their confusion. Love and respect their errors and the confusion. You don't have any other choice. If you have to play in this reality, you got to respect it. Accept what they are and play with them now and here with what they are with respect and love. They all have a role to play in this transformation. And right now it might be difficult. Right now their old building, the old temple is still holding. The old empire, the global empire is still holding. The noise is huge. But we don't see it lasting long. We don't see you be powerless long. You will gain your power. You already are gaining your power. When the noise subsides, when the noise stops, when the temple stops working, when the factory of modern society stops working, the power distribution will radically change. Your voice will be strong. And what you have learned so far, you will be able to apply. You heard. So stay strong, stay together, and be yourself, find yourself, look for yourself. Every moment it will be a different self, a different manifestation of you. 
discover that yourself work with yourself and don't be surprised when you get power when you will be heard when you will be respected then when you will be asked for your opinion the time is coming the time is coming when what you say manifests it's already true what you say, what you think manifests, but that proportion, that power, that force is coming to you daily, more and more. So get used to it. You're becoming stronger. You are becoming stronger. You are becoming stronger. I am Allah ya I invite comments and questions now. Unmute yourself, speak up. I have a question. Can you hear me? April. Hello. Hi. Uh, I have a cat, a black cat, who want wanted to be named Tomas. I cannot hear the name. Tomas. Thomas? Tomas. The Is Spanish, it S at the end? The Spanish pronunciation of Thomas is Tomas. Got it. Got it. Thank you. And I thought she was a male. She has masculine energy. And I discovered she was a female when she got a little older and started calling her Wiggy Waggy instead of Tomas. And she gets angry with me when I pet her. She acts like it hurts for me to pet her. And I was wondering if you could tell me what that energy is. It is a reflection of your energy. It shows you your energy. And uh, to change her, you got to change yourself. It takes on you on her. It's a reflection and mm, extreme condensation, extreme focus of your energy. So the, your energy has been focused through their cat's body and it reflects to you yourself. Because you are so different from the majority of humans, because your design is so alien, the cat reflects your design, your special energy to you backwards, back to you. So you can see how you can change yourself. How can you be petted by others? How can you accept the tenderness of others? And when you do that, you will see the changes in the cat. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Thank you for asking. I have something else. Go ahead. Uh, you examined my body and found me to be swollen. Uh, the reason I was swollen is because I was being bitten by bed bugs. And I cleaned them out pretty much. I find one once in a while, but I'm, I'm still working on it. And I'm wondering if I'm still swollen. It made my brain foggy too. <laughs> Just um, clinch your fist and see if it's comfortable. If it's not comfortable, then you're swollen. It's very easy. I feel, yes, there is uh, some uh, time difference. Your, your relationship with time is not traditional, not well established. So work with time and look at the clock, work with time. Come back to earth. It was, uh, consider insects just another tool of the universe, another gift of the, of the gods. They did some transformation to you. It was like a medicine to you, but uh, now you need to get rid of this medicine and come back to the reality. And back to timing and back to uh, relationship with water. So swell, swell is, swelling is slow processing of water. So allow the water to flow through your cells with the proper speed and speed is a function of time. So speed up your time, speed up their physiology, allow the cells to speed up again. And research more on bed bugs and see how other people fight them and remove them from their uh, beds. You need back, you need your body back, you need your reality back, you need to come back to function in a faster way. Thank you. Thank you. You are loved. You are loved. Any more comments, questions? Um, yes, I have a question if I may ask. Is it Eva? Um, it's Chloe. It's Chloe. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, what was my past life? Just anything about it? I always... I don't have access to all information, but I see a Yael, Yael past life. One of the past life would be Yael. And that would explain a lot. Yael at all grace. Big brain slim body, mental and telepathic, strongly telepathic, strongly connected together, but having the personality, having the individuality, so they are telepathical, strongly telepathic individuals with a sense of service and caring. These are the Mm, babysitters, caregivers of the universe. They babysit new races, 
babysit hybrids, take care of the hybrids, take care of babies, take care of the races. They are caregivers. They are into service and given care. Anything else? Um, what am I doing here then? What is my life mission here for mass? Hold on a second. Try to tune in the note. From this point in time and space, from this point in your life, you, more, you are more like a blank page. You have a freedom of choice in the path. Your past, your genes, your past lives, your spirit defines much, but there is a lot of, a lot of free choice. At this moment, you are into understanding the humanity and building your spirit body. Understanding, observing. Being harmed and recovering. So being harmed and recovering is natural a natural process. Accept it, respect it. It is a way of learning. To be harmed by the by the world and recovering from that. So discover the healer in yourself and heal yourself. Until you're comfortable with that process, I would suggest be cautious about making decisions about your future life. Be in a surf mode, surfing mode. Just surf the life and learn how to deal with it. Once you're comfortable dealing with it, then you become much more powerful and much less vulnerable. When you're comfortable surfing without being damaged, then you can make bigger choices about the mission then you can take much bigger tasks in your mission. While being vulnerable, you it shouldn't take too big of tasks. So it's still the process of learning and gaining their power and strength. Once, you got, once you're strong, then you can choose bigger tasks. Right now, the tasks, choose the tasks which are comfortable. Choose the tasks and missions which are comfortable for your current state. It's still the state of growth and getting a thicker skin. Yes, getting a thicker skin. Any more comments, questions, elaborations? I have a question from Jeff because his speaker is not working, so he wrote. Right. Okay, so um, how does one transcend the challenges of the body, like hunger, pain, illness, etc., challenges of the physical world? When these challenges dominate the reality we'll, we live in? And then there is a second question, but maybe. Oh, wait a second. I, I'm... Okay. I understood part of the question. How about you just either explain it or read it again? Okay, so it looks like that he's asking about challenges of the body, which are challenges of the physical world. And how does one transcend these challenges 
when they uh, dominate the reality we live in. Yes. Um, I will give you my opinion. There are many ways. One way is to transcend. But I would invite you kindly to accept. Instead of transcending and avoiding, accept. Accept your body, accept the challenges and deal with them. Not transcend, not jump over, not go around, but deal with them. Feel the pain. Feel the pain. Accept it. Take it as natural. Take it as normal. And realize any pain is a sign that you need to change. Your mind needs to change. Your emotional values need to change. Your programs need to change. It is a sign you're stuck. Any pain is a, is a sign that you're stuck in your belief systems. When you change your belief systems, when you change your understanding of the world, when you change your habits, when you get your affairs together, the pain will subside, become smaller and become less unpleasant. So deal with your body. Take care of your body. Feed it, nourish it, feed it with food, with good food, good water, good air, good air. I say start with good air and good energies, nature energies and human energies. Feed it with, hu with good human energies. Get, have been, no, be, be touched by loving humans. Get physical touch, not necessarily sex, but just loving touch from your friends and mate and a mate and uh, relatives and children and animals. Touch the animals, touch the pets, touch the domesticated animals. Be with them, be with plants, touch the plants, physical contact with natural water, the river, a lake, a sea, an ocean, all of that is very healing. So be a healer and work on your healing your body. It is the phase where you are. Once you get it done, once you have it, once it becomes your second nature, then you can transcend it. But right now, apparently, apparently, the main lesson for you is to learn the physiology. Learn some medicine. Learn some taking care of things. I hear the noises. If they are not necessary, you can mute your microphone or somebody else's microphone. Any more elaborations on that question? So don't transcend until you learn uh, how to take care of the body. Just dive in your body. Be in that body. Be it. Jeff has another question, if I can read it. To yes, you. thank you. To what extent is our path in life determined by our higher guides, whose direction may be different greatly from the direction our human condition strives for? Do you want me to read again? Yes, hold on a second. Was it last? What the word before last was strives for? Strives for. Human condition strives for one right. direction. So what's, to what extent oh. is our path in life determined by our higher guides? Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. The noise is coming from Sakina. I'm muting Sakina. Again, Om Hayanam. 
Uh, so in what extent your condition is determined by the guides? It's your choice. You can play along with the guides or you can fight the guides. And many people choose to disagree with the guides. It's a valid choice. Yet I invite you to be in line with your guides, in line with the spirits, to respect their choices, to respect the guidance, to embody your higher self. Harmonize yourself with your higher self. Harmonize yourself with the spirit. Make a decision. I invite you to make a decision to unite with your higher self, to unite with your soul, to unite with the divine force. Be the divine force. At any moment, if you are asked, are you God? Say yes. Are you divine force? Say yes. Be it. Decide and decidedly be it, the divine force. Be in the flow. And then you will be guided in a much bigger extent. It is a decision, it's a choice. It's a leap of faith to decide to be guided by the higher energies and trust them. Now, in which extent your external circumstances are defined by the higher energies, by the higher consciousnesses? I say, in any life, it is big. The your guides define the circumstances in large extent. It's only the question, are you with them or are you against them? Do you see the divine guidance in everything that happens? Or do you see mischief? Do you see guidance or mischief? Are you in a state of war or are you in a state of peace? Do you fight life or are you in peace with life? Are you an active player or are you a victim? What do you think creates your reality? I, tru I truly believe in that. And I invite you to join this understanding that your outside reality, your outside circumstances are in large extent, in large extent, are defined by your beliefs and by your thinking, by your thoughts, by the words in your mind. In large extent, not 100%, but say 40 to 50% is defined by what you think. It's a play of your mind the will of your guides and the will of other players in the game. Other players also have a say in the game. So it's a collective game. You co-create the reality. You don't create it full, but you co-create in large extent. <clears throat> you have huge power, which most of misuse by co-creating reality. So the art of living, is in learning how to co-create a good reality. And when reality is not good, accept it first, accept it first. Whatever happens, accept it first. And then play in it, play with it, co-create it, uplift it. Whatever happens, whatever changes happen inside your body, outside your body, in all universe, accept the change and then play with it. 
be co-creator of it, take the responsibility, be the creator, manifest the divine energy, claim to be a player of the divine energy, and work it, manifest it, embody it, be it, the divine energy, divine, divine wisdom. your guides, your higher self. Be a body for them. Let them play. Invite them and manifest their energy in their in the world. <clears throat> <clears throat> Any more comments, questions? Pranam Sugananda. Yay. Sakin, right? Yes, I've been missing you. I, I'm so happy to hear your voice again. Um, I miss you too. Um, I went through um, the eclipse, uh, the effects of the eclipse. Yes. And it was so strong. It was like, sucking everything out of my bone, the energy and everything. And um, I, I just, the day after, it started at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, yes. Eclipse. And I next day I couldn't do anything, but I had to just sleep all day because there was, I could not even move. Uh, but it's wonderful, yes. And uh, so I just, I, I was with it. I was slowly transmuting it, trying to be in my heart. Not really resisting the energy, but, you know, I, I had, I started to eat you know, a lot of protein or, um, and then um, uh, while I was going through, I was rested that, that day, during the day while I was really resting, yeah. And I saw another vision. I would close my eyes. It's like the world is, an, if I close, open my eyes, there's this world vision. And then I would close my eyes and I would see a whole another scene. And experience in this lifetime before. And so I, I was enjoying that, you know. And nice. I was closing my eyes. Nice. Pardon me? Good, nice, okay. good. Oh, yes. So uh, I would just experiment with it. I would open my eyes and I see the world and I close my eyes and I would see other scenes. Uh, some of the one, uh, some dreams I got, they were not good. But then the others, uh, you know, I would see scenes, but nothing, you know, nothing more. And then now I've lost it. I, I, I cannot do that anymore. It, it is the same with the other gifts, like you say. Well, I'm, 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 I'm uh, transporting bodies with you, and you know, I mean, uh, of souls to the other world, and and then somebody else said, I, um, I knew, you, and, and you said that I could, in the past, have so many bodies, and all these gifts I have, I've also experienced. Uh, um, what would you call that? Um, the Star Wars, you know, this is what Star Wars is saying, uh, where somebody attacks you spiritually and then you are able to. Uh, I was not aware of it and I did that. So what's happening with, all, you know, why am I not aware of my all, all, you know, and it's happening. I've been told it's there. I feel it, but I'm not in, in power of it to use it consciously. Yes. I noticed now when you started to speak, the connection was poor. But when uh, when you when you complained about their eclipse, the connection was poor. The sound was poor. But when you started speaking about the heart. The sound became perfect, and it remained perfect. 
that is a wonderful lesson that you create your reality you are even in control of the quality of your connection electronic connection when you are in a positive state the electronic connection works perfectly and when you are in a complaining state the electronic connection doesn't work it's it's bumpy it relates to the whole life yes to all reality around which you co-create when you are in the heart when you are in loving state everything is being healed and when you are mm, in a victim state in a victim mode then everything goes dark hmm. well i well i am uh i'm struggling still with uh you know work i just lost one contract and i don't know how you know the your wrong informa information and uh I think it was not supposed to be because I always pray to Baba that, uh, and I surrender my clients to Baba. And it was so funny. It was like I, we could have got it, and something came in between, and uh, agent gave me the wrong information. So I believe that Baba was in play because the house itself, uh, the stucco, uh, the synthetic stucco is not a good house to buy. But uh, my clients, they got disappointed and saying, oh, I told them that it was not my fault. Uh, but this happened, so it, it was meant to be that it was not a good house for them, so what to happen? Yeah, just take it easy. Whatever not, doesn't come your way, just take it easy. Don't focus on losses. Focus on opportunities. That's one of the main principles I invite you drop whatever is dropped whatever you lost just take it easy check mark it is lost whatever whatever the mantra is whatever i lost something whatever next to the next lesson next to the next challenge next to the next opportunity focus on what you can do not on what you lost well, that's all right I'm still struggling. I'm struggling with with, with my. Um, I'm really struggling with. I'm, I feel like uh, I'm stuck. I cannot move around. So I, I got this book um, appeared to me. Well, like I had it in my shelf and I picked it up. It was Wayne Dyer's Inspiration. And then he he writes in that that anybody somebody who reads this book. That was his mission, and that book is for me. So I've started reading that book because I need I, I need to do something about it. Um, you know, I'm by myself, and uh, I have to I have to find a comfortable way of prospecting. You told me to go and party, leading me to say yes, okay. yes, yes. Did you do that? Well, I I'm trying to. Uh, well, la yesterday I found some events you know i said okay what party should i go to meetup group or you know i went to meetup groups and uh, you know i'm not getting any you know clientele there i mean but I, i'm working on it then i thought of uh, going to events around events you know where people can mingle you know yes um so i'm gonna i'm gonna try that but it is very frustrating because i feel like i should you know, it would be so wonderful if I had that in control. So I would have a flow of clients. I can enjoy yes. being with people. Yes. My, you know, and I, I'm just like, I, I feel like, what is wrong with me? What What is going on? And is it something that acts and just move slowly and just, you know, do whatever I can? And that's all I can do, really. Right? That's um, all I can do. The secret is that the parties are around you. The What's around me? Are around you. And um, the people, your kind of people, the people who need you, and the people who will make you happy are nearby. You just are not noticing them. You're so focused on your complications that you're not noticing the beautiful life around you. Around you, everywhere, there is there are parties, there are events there are other lonely light workers and lonely 
awakened people who wish to be connect, connected together. Maybe you are the one who can organize parties. Maybe you can find other co-creators who can co-create parties with you, events, gatherings, networking events. Uh, learn how to swim in these waters. That's uh, the way for you to survive and flourish. Survive and flourish. That would be fun, you know. I'd love to meet people, I'd love, but I'd like to meet people of spiritual by nature so I can enjoy my work too. But I'm not a lot of spiritual people who don't have money, <laughs> so that becomes you know, I like to go to those groups. Uh, but that is so, but but there are people who have, there are spiritual people who do, and I just don't know where to find them. And so is my area that I'm living, and I know that it's not a high end area financially. But um, but I don't need so many deals, you know. If I can do it around, it would be better than driving so you know miles and miles away. You are being uh, so guided. You are, you are being guided. Be flow, serve the guidance, serve the waves. There are opportunities around, and if you still focus on losses, open your eyes, open your heart. You a lot of opportunities which are coming your way. Okay, so I should focus around in my area, right? It, it, it doesn't matter. Whatever Where is easy for you. Whatever is easy for you. It doesn't really matter. You go create those events. Okay. Whatever is just... easy. Do take an easiest path, but look at the positive opportunities. Take an easy path. Whatever is easy. Uh, Okay, let's say the other question is, am I medita meditating correctly? Um, or do I need to take some meditation class or something? It seems, I asked Amma and uh, I said, am I, am I meditating correctly? Amma Karuna Mai, and she said yes. But I just want to know because it, you know, I could, I'm, I'm still not connected with you or, or Baba, I'm not directly connected with, you know, I've, you know, you heard my prayers this week. I've been frustrated that I've been crying and all that. Um, so, First, am I meditating? It has to be fun. Meditation has to be fun. It has to be pleasant and easy. Don't struggle into meditation. Take it easy and whatever comes. Just intention to connect to higher energies is enough and then make it in, in, an easy and fun process okay second uh, right. realize you are being guided and sometimes we have to ground you we have to focus your attention on their earthly business so that is why you are not shown as much miracles as you wish Everyone wants to be up there having been high and connecting to high energies. And you can experience it once in a while, but when you're being dragged back to their reality, that's, you know, that's what we have to do to bring you back to the reality, to take care of the business and to learn the lessons down below. That is your assignment. That is your work. So take it easy. It okay. is by design. Don't fight so, us. I'm not, I, I definitely am not fighting you, but I, um, so, I, in a way, I feel secure with you and Baba being around me and watching me all the time and, you know, I'm why not. But at the same time, I worry about being on the street. I said, I don't want to be on the street, you know, which, which I don't think I will, but uh, fear comes to me and, uh, you know, so I have to deal with it. And the last question is that, um, I was told, and I was not interested in this before, that I am in something else and something else, okay? I, I don't know what all this, you know, the beings of, the combination of being, I'm more interested in my connection with God, I mean, the inner connection, you know, all these outer things are not interested in me, but do you think that the class, I, Classes I take, I generally 
don't even listen to it again or i don't know if it, it would be helpful to spend the money to take this class about and knowing about lyrian the lion people that i am um or i i just let it be and experience my own guidance inside because got it uh, i will give you my my suggestion my opinion which doesn't prevent you from taking your choices you make your choice but my opinion is that for you you have enough knowledge already you don't need classes you need friends and parties you need friends and networking okay so i don't need to know about my other lyrian self and the syrian self and all, i don't know what pleiadian self <laughs> It will come to you anyway from your friends. You don't have to take classes. Okay, that's all I need to know. It's my <sighs> opinion. It's not the decision. You make the decision. I just give you my suggestion, personal suggestion. And that's all I need to know. I trust you. Thank you. I trust you. Um, and thank you so much. And just uh, bless me that I, I can open up my heart and my I can flow with the material energy the way I want to flow and uh, be successful and flourish. One more suggestion. Remember your upbringing and the art, especially the Asian art, to cherish any guest, to cherish any friend, to respect any friend and treat them as royalty. Remember that. That is a nice tool you have. Use it sparingly. Cherish your <laughs> friends. Treat them as royalty. My friends. Create new friends. Invite new friends and respect them, love them, give them honors. Oh, my family or friends? In India, you're talking about? No, I'm talking about new networking. When you meet new people, acquaintances, treat them as royalty. Oh, I, oh yeah, I always do. I love people. So yes. that it, it's just that I love being by myself so much. It, it's <laughs> <laughs> at first I used to go out all the time. Now I, I love love being by myself and it's so I have to make myself go out now. You know, the secret so is that other, the secret is that other people also yourself. They are yourself. I will try, but you know, you are taking me on this journey, you and Baba, and I was so outgoing and everything, and then suddenly I was isolated and I had to get comfortable with total silence and be and be comfortable with me. And now I'm so comfortable with me that I really enjoy being by, by myself. That's all right. Okay, I will do that. I will uh, reach out. I will make myself go out. Um, it's your decision. I, I give only my suggestions. Okay, thank you so much. And I love you, Yogananda. It's I love so one. Thank you. Anyone else? <clears throat> question yes I was hit by a ceiling fan and it knocked on the, in the left side of my head it knocked all my bones out of place and I was I'm asking my guide 
what caused that, they told me that I was hung in another life. I see. And I'm wondering what caused the people to hang me. What, what I did. Can you tell me that? I don't have access to that. I'm sorry. But I would say accept it and heal it. It should go away faster than usual. You are capable of healing using your hands. Do it. Just meditate on your head. Meditate on the healing and try to get back to the health. It should be easier than usual. Just take it easier and um, uh, use your healing capacities, your, your healing talents to recover. The second cervical vertebra turns to the right since I was in my early 20s and causes a lot of pain. Would it I be see. the same for that? Say again? I do the same for that, correct? I would suggest use sunlight and your hands expose the, the neck to the sunlight for a short period of time, especially in the morning and the evening, the heated light in the morning and the evening, not during the midday. And invite the sun to work on the mm, healing their inflammation in that area. And also massage your soft tissue around the neck with your fingers. Mm, be friends with that part of the body and let it know everything is nice, everything is cool, everything is sweet. Relax there, relax there. It is uh, the tension which causes this. Tension and uh, too much of their sharp energy flow. So make it softer, make the energy flow in a soft healing way. Mm -hmm. And the pain cried out, the sadness cried out. Let be sad about the pain. Be allow the sadness to come through you and clarify, clear detoxify their the hurt areas cry their pain out cry the trauma out release release the pain which you accumulated in this life and past lives release it release it let it go mm -hmm. Thank you. Any more comments, questions before we start wrapping up? Um, my yes. question, 
my cousin passed away yesterday, I think. Um, did I? Did we take her on the other side, or she was taken by somebody else? Somebody else. Oh, it's so not, she was no, not she, is, she will be taken by somebody else. It takes time for a soul before she crosses the second time. First time, the soul disconnects from the body and drops their physical part of the body. An event which is uh, a few days later, and um, it, be, it is being taken care of. So, but your your intention is respected. Your intention is respected. Send your prayers for timely and healthy transition to their uh, through the veil. For timely and healthy transition from through the veil, your prayers will contribute, and she might. She will likely visit you before before transition. So, uh, welcome her. Give her your um, exchange of love, exchange love, exchange respect, exchange the feelings, and uh, give her your support. Yes, I talked to her a week ago, and I was, you know, for years and years, I was not connected to her. And uh, so I, I I gave her my love and I told her I loved her and all that and then she left and uh, in a few days she she left the body. Um, also, what kind of people do we transfer? I, I mean, who are the ones? Only my immediate family or there's a group of people? Uh, these are free choices. These are free choices and uh, some people just know where to go. And some people are confused, so they go wherever they are being liked, wherever they are being invited. So sending an invitation to them is a good idea. If somebody died, invite them to visit you and give them your love, understanding, kindness, and uh, wish them to go and transition to the home place, the home place in the spirit world. That is that easy. There is nothing else to do, just kindness, smile, happiness. Because everyone else is grieving, and if you're happy and kind, they're being attracted to you. So you attract them through kindness, and then suggest to them, it's their choice, suggest to them to go and transition through the veil to the home place. And there are always helpers around, angels and spirit guides and relative spirits who are helping them to transition. It is just for them to see that and to accept, to go from the state of pain and grief to the state of coming home. I will give you their chance to honor the transition of your cousin. Okay. Anyone else? Any comments, questions? Hmm. 
Brian, Ewa, Infinite, Yana, Jeff, Temple. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good as well. Thank you. <laughs> you answered a lot of things that I had on my mind too, so that was very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we'll do the final meditation and I'll exit. Take a breath. Keep breathing deeply and consciously. Sit comfortably. Place your palms on your heart. Welcome the heart energy. Shift to the heart. Focus yourself. Focus your attention in the heart. In the heart space. In the heart. In the heart. In the heart. Be here in the body, in this universe, on this earth, in this body, in this time, now, be here. Feel the body. Expand your attention to the surroundings. Unite with the body and the surroundings. Respect your location. Respect your air. Respect the water, respect the earth, the stone, the materials, the matter. Give respect to the matter. Respect the illusion of this life. Respect people around you. Unite with them. Realize you are part of them. They are part of you. They're all related to you in spirit and in genetics you are one genetically and spiritually accept the situation accept the reality accept the changes which are happening accept yourself look inside look at yourself who are you What is your passion? What's your interest? What's your vibration? What are you doing here? See that everything is charged. Everything is charged with love. Everything is in motion. Accept everything in motion. The time is moving. The molecules are moving. The atoms are moving. The light is moving. It's a living breathing body of reality it's alive it is a dream alive you are within this dream and the dream is shining with light it's constructed of light it is constructed of, of energy the matter is constructed of energy and you are part of everything you are part of everything. You co-create the energy, co-create the materials, co-create the money. You are part of the money. You are part of the flow of the money. It's all you. Your consciousness is co-creating this reality. It's all within you. You are all within it. You're co-creating. You're part of it.
the abundance is here. Co create the borders of yourself, co create the borders of your body. You are inside your body and outside of your body. Your consciousness is inside and outside. So take care of you of the body. Feel the opportunities, feel the energies, feel the charges. Everything is charged. Everything is pregnant with opportunities. Everything, everything is pregnant with opportunities. Everything is seeded and pregnant. That is the only true image of the reality. The reality is pregnant with opportunities. See them and choose. Choose wisely and kindly. The only reason for you to be here is to manifest these opportunities. You are manifester. You are the manifester. You are the master of manifestation. Everything is pregnant, seeded, and it's for you to manifest these opportunities. So see them, and you manifest them through the body, through your physiology, through your physicality, through your body. So work through your body to manifest the opportunities in and out, in and out. It's for you to be here to learn and to serve and to manifest. So be a manifester who you are. Discover yourself through the body, through the reality. Discover yourself, learn and serve, learn and serve, learn and serve. Surfing and serving, surfing and serving. Surf the flow of life, surf, ride the wave, accept whatever it is. You are riding through the reality, through the wave. Respect it, love it, respect it and love it. Respect this dream, respect your body, love it. It is a dream, it's a gift. Take care of the body in the dream and manifest through the body and ride the waves of opportunities harmonize be in harmony with yourself with your conscience with the traditions serve the future serve the future serve the ascension be the ascender, ascend everything. Ground yourself in reality and connect to others to ascend it, to uplift it. Be a professional uplifter who you are. Discover yourself, you are a professional uplifter. The only reason you are here and now because you are ascender, uplifter, progressor. If the reality wasn't pregnant with ascension, you wouldn't be here. If the reality wasn't pregnant with the ascension, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be in this body, in this time, in this life. Because you are a professional spirit working on ascension. You're coming here to help the ascension. That's, that's who you are. Discover that. Choose that. Ground yourself. Integrate yourself in the reality. Connect to others. And when the time comes, you will be the one who uplifts it. So strengthen your muscle. Be ready to open portals. And work through portals, through your body, through portals. Your body is a tool for opening portals. You are an upper. You are and portal opener you are a portal opener so be it be in good health 
and good financial health. Be with friends. Open in portals. In nature, in the cities, it is time to open portals for the higher dimensional reality. Connect the higher dimensional reality to this space and place, time, space, place, to the cities, to the nature, to the ground, and expand it, expand it, expand it. It is work, and you know how to do the work. And it is work, and you are talented for that work. You are here to do this work. It's easy, easy, easy. Smile, it's easy. Breathe and smile and take it easy. Just engage in the work. Assemble your affairs together and engage in the work. That's my invitation. It's for you to choose it. For you to accept my invitation. <laughs> it's so easy. Smile, smile. There is nothing difficult here. You have done it in the past, you will do it now. Ground yourself and uplift the reality. So easy, so easy, so simple. So easy, so easy, so simple. Be in the heart. Connect your heart and your mind. Place your heart, one palm on your heart, one palm on the top of your head. Connect them. And as you breathe, focus on both. Two foresight, two focuses. One in the heart, one in the mind. Upper world and lower world. Inner world and outer world. Connect all of them together. Integration. Integration. Ascension through acceptance. Ascension through respect. Ascension through love. Be the respect you are. Be the love you are. The reality is pregnant with ascension. Just do it. Just do it. Amen. Ya 
Bye, everybody.